Hi there, for those of you who don't know me, my name is David and today I'm going to share with you about my Bible hero, Paul. Before I do that, I want to ask you a question and that is, what is the main thing you've been missing about life before lockdown? What is that one thing that you're super excited about seeing come back when lockdown finishes? For me, it is playing football and going to the barbers, as you can maybe tell. What about you? Go ahead and share with whoever's in the room with you right now. Okay. <clears throat> Paul is my Bible hero. And we've heard a lot about how his life was totally transformed. He had an encounter with Jesus. He changed his name from Saul to Paul. And he stopped killing Christians and started making new ones. He stopped destroying the church and started growing the church across the world. If you want to find out more about that, look back in our Together at Home Kids series and you'll find a couple of videos there. Okay, but the rest of his life after he became Paul is all of that stuff. That's why he's my hero. And he's my hero because he was relentless. He Relentless means he didn't give up. Nothing could stop him. He went around sharing the good news about Jesus. And that's the same good news that you and me have. It's the good news which says that anyone who is anyone can be God's friend, can be God's child, can know the creator of the universe, the creator of the world, the creator of you and me, we can know him as our father and he knows us as his son or daughter. And that same good news about Jesus is the good news that Paul was given, he had it, and he was given the task to share it with the whole world. And he was relentless with it. He took it and if people thought maybe you know, only special people, only certain people could be God's friend, could be God's children. Uh, even those people who tried to beat him up, tried to stop him saying that anyone who is anyone, the emperor down to the lowest slave from the east to the west, north to the south, anyone can be God's friend. Anyone can be part of God's family. Anyone can know God through Jesus. These people who disagreed with all that, they said only special people can be God's friends. Only certain people. They, do you know what they did? They actually tried to beat up Peter. Oh, Paul, even. They tried to beat him up. They, well, they did it to Peter too, but they did it to Paul. All across uh, the Roman world, they whipped him. They throw stones at him. They caused riots just to drive him out of town because they didn't want to hear what he had to say. They didn't want other people hearing the good news about Jesus. Anyway, he was relentless, he didn't give up. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask God right now to show us how we can be relentless with the good news. Is there people, is there places who need to hear about the good news of Jesus and that God is calling us to go and be relentless there, not to give up? Okay, let's take five seconds. God, would you show us where you're calling us to right now? Okay, let's go. Okay, write that down. Share that with someone, what you just heard from God. Let's move on. Next thing. Paul is my hero because he knew that God's love was relentless. He didn't just not give up. He didn't give up because he knew that God didn't give up. That God's love was for everyone, everywhere, all the time. That there was no one too grumpy, too mean, too rude, too convinced that God didn't even exist, let alone love them. There's no one too convinced of that for God to be like, ah, forget it. Paul knew that God's love is relentless, that God loves everyone, no matter what. 
even when it was hard, even when he was getting whipped across the back. Some heavy duty whips. He, he even knew that God actually still loved the person who was doing the whipping. That Jesus died for that person. So, Paul knew God's love was relentless. Let's take five seconds, ask God, God, who are you asking me to love relentlessly? Who's, who, who have I been finding it hard to care for, hard to be kind to? Who are you calling me to love relentlessly? Again, okay, five seconds, let's go. Okay, write that down, share that with someone. And we'll pray at the end. Okay. And the last thing is um, Paul knew that the gospel was relentless. Paul knew that if he went into a town and shared the gospel with someone, shared the good news about Jesus, then that person could share it with someone else. And they could share it with someone else. And the whole world could hear the good news of Jesus if Paul just kept going. Because the gospel keeps going. The good news about Jesus is relentless. Okay, let's take five seconds and we're going to dream with God for five seconds. What does, what would our school, what would our family, what would our town, our street look like if we really believed in the relentless gospel that, that we could share it with someone who could share it with someone who could share it with someone? that it changes lives. That even those people who are just starting to believe the, the good news about Jesus, they can share it too. And so everyone gets to know. It's not just you telling everyone, it's everyone telling everyone. Okay, let's dream with God. Take five seconds, see what pictures, see what words come into your mind right now. Okay, let's pray. Father God, thank you for those dreams. Thank you, God, for those pictures. God, that you have such high hopes for every school, every street, every family, every town, every city. Father God, thank you that you love every single person in Coleraine, in the Triangle, in Northern Ireland, and the world. Father God, thank you that you sent Jesus to die for them so they could be your friend, your child. And would you help everyone watching this right now to love people how you love them? And would you help everyone to be as relentless as Paul, not to give up <clears throat> sharing the good news about Jesus? In Jesus' name, Amen.